Hey guys, Nikki here, and this style will be brought to you by Hurella Hair. They will be sponsoring this vlog, so if you're interested in this look, please continue to watch. Hey guys, I've worked with Hurella Hair a few times, but I still like to show you guys the packaging and everything you will get with your wig. So here's that clip right here. Let's hop into a quick install done by none other than Maya. So let's get it. Let's go. Something fun, something different. I love the fact that Maya is doing my hair now. It allows me to try and do new styles because you guys know I am not a hair person like that. And she is, okay? So I will leave the link to her real hair below. Please don't forget to check out all of their Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales and all of that. They have quad pay, split pay options. If this is not your thing, which it should be because it's just so thick and it's just everything but if this is not your style they have short bobs they have straight hair they have everything they even have colored hair lace frontal closures everything over on their website so just give them a try and i will make sure i link everything right below the video it will be the first thing once you tap it Hurella hair will come up okay so thank you Hurella, for sponsoring this portion of my video let's get into the vlog Hey y'all, it's your late auntie, Nikki Platinum, the one that looked dressed, act too young for her age. We finna get this vlog started. I'm headed to a football game. It's 40 degrees in Texas. We ain't used to this kind of stuff, y'all. I have on 
a long sleeve black tee with a bodysuit on under here with my Libra leggings. Y'all know them things, Dick. With some all black Ugg boots and I'm gonna put on a jacket. It started at eight. It is approximately 7.52. Let's go. Look, y'all. But look how much bigger them kids are. Them kids from high school and these little bitty babies. <laughs> yeah, they got my baby plenty of high school kids. I don't like you. <laughs> right, right, Deborah. These high school right, kids. Right, we got some grandbaby high school kids <laughs> and uniform. <laughs> Home now. The light this way. We headed home. My, they didn't win. The cold kept saying, it was kept saying, let them see you, let them see you. <laughs> like just, the game was almost over. It is. Great job though. They made it to the Super Bowl. I mean championship. We going to Bucky's. Here go, baby y'all. Great job. Thank you. <laughs> or your ring. You put it up. Oh, you don't have to dig I it can out. Get it out. Yeah, let's show you to your ring. <laughs> we winners around here. Get out the way now. Hold on. Get up. Hold on, Demari. It's heavy. Let me bully. Let me see what we do. Can we pawn it? <laughs> oh, wow. That's Wait. mine, Demari. Hold on. It won't even focus. Tap the screen so the focus, Maka. Oh shit! This ain't my bag. There you go. Well, yeah, my cousin trying to get home her husband, so she didn't want to go to Bucky, so I had to settle for a McCrew! Yup, win, win. I feel like I'm in the dark, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. That McCrew was a little too saucy for me. I had to turn over. Turn over. <laughs> what the heck am I talking about? I had to um get some napkins and like dejuicified <laughs> y'all know me i'm make up a word okay so while i have the camera rolling and i got clothes on i got this right here from pop pop beauty cute little bag this bag i can keep it for stuff yeah it's been a lot going on i just took like a three-day hiatus from vlogging sometimes i just need to mellow out don't have to worry about recording so i'll catch y'all up in a second um, the fish jelly cleanser and this all will be linked below the extra zing C shot as in vitamin C the peeling zing C exfoliating jelly is it too bright yeah and then this right here is the C cream. It's a creamy moisturizer. So you got a creamy moisturizer, you got a exfoliating jelly, you got a cleansing jelly, and this right here is a serum. So thank you so much, Pop. I will link the Pop website below. You guys, I had a perfume sale. All of them have sold so far except three. So, I put them on my website. I will link it below just in case they're still available when this vlog go live. So, I do have some more birthday gifts that came to my P.O. box afterwards. Thank you guys so much. You guys know I'm so appreciative of anything you guys give me. Um, this wig right here came from Ghetto Bites here on YouTube. I didn't wet it or anything. <sighs> Pardon me. Because I was going to be outside in the cold. So, let me just quit talking and say plat. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much for your videos. This has been a hard year for all of us. This has been a hard year for me. Your videos and the content, you give us all so much joy. Keep on being you, Kim, aka Music Juice. Y'all, okay, I'm not going to tell our business, but um, she's one of my favorites, guys. She, Her mom was having stomach problems, and she asked me like some of the stuff her mom could eat and stuff, and I was out of town. So I was like, I got you, I promise you, when I get back. And her mom, mom passed away, sadly. So I know how it is, honey. Hang on in there. Hang on in there. So this is what she got me. It's Kurt Geiger. And look at these earrings. It's the eagle head studs. 
with the um are these multicolor studs? Yeah, multicolor gems. I got a purse. These will go perfectly. She was like, I don't know if you wear little earrings. I do. I have some on today. <laughs> so thank you so much for my earrings. So I'm super excited about this because I wanted this all summer. I think I want to blame Filmy Fil Monet. It might not have been her, but made this scent very popular. No, it wasn't her. Uh, made this scent very popular and I was trying to get it during the summer and everybody would be sold out and I was just like I'll get it from a Kyrie but they was trying to overcharge because it was sold out then it came back in stock and it, it was always times I was like on a low buy no buy type thing yeah and I finally got it I guess it's winter so people trying to get rid of their summer scents so it is sunset hour <laughs> by gold filling banks neat packaging and I scored it for fifty dollars because I got it off Macari, and so it's not full. Score fifty dollars. This bottle is one hundred and ninety dollars. Of course, when it got popular, you guys were tagging me because it's full of peach. So I finally got it and at a discount. See, that's why sometimes it's best to wait. The Lord always take care of me always and i was having a bad i've been having a real low week i don't know if it's because the holidays are coming up um my mood has been off my, me and the algorithm and me being shadow banned messes with me a lot because i put a lot into my content um i put a lot into putting stuff in the description box i put a lot into giveaways i do tons of giveaways and etc so it gets kind of discouraging and then it's just like i don't know i just haven't been feeling like being surrounded by people i guess because like stuff really bothers me and i'm gonna share this and then i'm gonna get back to the high because y'all know i can talk um it's just like now i just don't want to be around people because like little stuff like triggers me so bad like and i know you guys are like platinum girl where did they come from but that i'm telling you like i get into these moves where i get kind of like depressed and all these random thoughts about stuff people done said stuff people done did floods me that's really the devil if you really want to know i got an order from sephora i got another one on the way too and i'll explain that one when they get here they gave up everybody who got a sephora card like a a lot of credits because they messed up some. I don't even know what it was. I just took my credits. <laughs> so I told y'all I was going to get the Fenty OG heat bomb. They had this duo. It has the OG plus the heat bomb. What's the fucking difference? The gloss bomb and the gloss bomb heat in here. So this went viral on TikTok. And my friend Teresa gave me the red one last time so i thought these would be cute to put in my purse and y'all say this is the best one that's the one that's um fenty glow heat y'all said it's good on chocolate girl so those are gonna go in my purse and then i got a mini dolce and gabbana light blue y'all know i do not like this fragrance but my cousin collect minis and it was free so i got it and they gave me a white they gave me some samples i didn't even pick the YSL and um, Kells. Y'all don't care about these samples because I don't. Because why they send me those? So, yeah. I ordered from Sephora just for that. Before we go any further, I got this candle right here from the same company. I got this reed. You know I love these reeds. It's probably time for me to get more. This one's still real strong. It's lemon grass right i will link it below let me tell y'all something i get a lot of candles and stuff but this is a one wick candle i'm probably out of it it's a one wick candle and the throw on here so strong and light my whole room up so loud yeah i ain't playing i need to order some love it i will link them below please i link everything i talk about below when i go to eat i link it below unless it's like mcdonald's or something like that I link if I can sh if I got it on I link it below cause y'all go ass. So um, I have another box over here from Skin Potion. So let me show you guys my Skin Potion box real quick cause I'm excited about it and I want to get to using it. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to figure out do I have something else to do? Y'all, when it get cold like this, it kind of messes with my mood. 
right? And so I think that's why I'm overthinking everything. And then it makes me not want to go anywhere. I don't want to go out the house and stand in the house. Sorry, my nose, because it was cold out there. 40 degrees. Um, being in the house is not good for my mental because I'm still grieving and etc. And it, it started making me feel like I don't want to deal with nobody. Like, nobody. I don't know. Oh, this is one of you guys. Oh, hold on. All right, y'all. So the box is huge. I love the way Skin Potion packages their items. It's literally so much stuff in here, guys. And I had this one of you guys invited me to a BET event tomorrow. I literally love, love is an understatement, these products. Like, why aren't they in Sephora already? So I do have a discount code. I will link below. So let's just say, I ain't gonna say the best for last, but what I'm really, really excited about. Okay, 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 okay. So this is coconut milk. It's the body polish. Basically, it's a skin scrub. I just did a um, real, and it went viral. What do y'all call go viral? <laughs> Cause it, it got a lot of views. Let me smell this. Oh my God, this, this smells like, oh, that smells so good. Y'all love coconut. Mm, that smells like um, some kind of candy to me. That smells really, really good. And then I got the Radiance Body Cream that go with it. So I that's my first time trying this thing. I love it. I love it. I love it. Then here's the Kama Sutra. I be saying Karma. I need to quit saying it. Kama Sutra um, Radiance Body Lotion. You guys know how Bay feel about this scent right here. Bay loves this scent. Like when I'm putting it on, going out of something, she always say the same thing. Which scent is that? Kama Sutra. It, it hits. It smells so good. So I got this box right here. I mean, it hit. Oh, I can smell it through this box. Golly, this stuff smells so good. <gasps> oh my gosh. I said I need some of these because when I be out and I walk by people, they be like, what is that? I don't need to hand them a card. I got the body polish, the body butter, and the supernatural cleansing bar. This packaging is just too cute. That's the scoop for the scrub. Too, too cute love that and then this is the highlight of the show because it's brand spanking new how to off the press this is the oh it's pre-order oh it's it's after the time this is the oil okay it's the revitalizing body oil guys this smells so freaking good let me show you how it's packaged this how it's packaged right here. Oh, watch this, watch this. Babe, come here. Oh, look at that, it looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh. So let's check out the nozzle on it. Oh, it sprays. Come on. Smell it. Yeah, take that out the... So let me just put a little dibble dabble do Ooh, uh Look at that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I am real dry. We bright over here. Y'all see the difference? Ooh, that little glow. Oh my gosh. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you so much, Skin Potion. I will make sure I leave the link below <laughs> all right y'all that's all i'm gonna show y'all tonight i'm gonna package up some more of this perfume that's all take me a hot shower and get in the bed all right guys so i decided to go and get some um boots this morning oh good morning good morning my neighbors what movie is that from so i decided to go get some dior boots god damn bitch you got damn Go get some Dior boots to uh, match my 
crossbody saddle so I can wear my purse in the winter with some little ensembles. <laughs> so we're headed to get those boots. I'll show them to you guys when we get home. And then um, I'm gonna go buy UPS and USPS. I got seven packages, more packages than her to ship out. Babe ship like 10, probably like 20 of them. Um, it's Friday night and it's now Sunday. So I'm gonna take these. What time is it? Yeah, make sure UPS don't close. I hate when I sell through Macari because I'm just so used to going to the post office y'all, but Macari, sometimes you gotta take the stuff to FedEx. Sometimes you gotta take it to USPS. I mean UPS, so I gotta make double stops today, but they like right there by each other, so I'll be all right, I'll be all right. Y'all, last night I was so sad, and like I cried so easy in my last vlog, I was telling y'all that at Teresa's, the woman who make my hair drop, shop my hair drops, guys, please. That's a beautiful woman. Please support a beautiful black woman. That's how Nicole dreads are going, growing. That's how my hair is growing. I have intensely started back using them because my hair fell out again when I had COVID. Not as bad as the first time, but yeah. So, um, see, I just be talking too motherfucking much because I don't even know what I was saying. <laughs> I forgot. Anyway, I'm going to the post office and, um, yeah, I see what else today has in store. I'm gonna try to detox. I have on that Fenty Beauty, the cherry one. Oh, I love this. I love these. I want all colors now. Maybe not all colors, but yeah. Let's go. Ding Ding Menopause brand. Okay, I cried so easy. Just like last week when Teresa had us all in her house and she was telling us how much she appreciated us, I was crying the whole speech. I was and I have no shame in it like I was cuz I love her so much and it's like when you've been through the trenches with somebody and you see them get better man that's emotional anyway last night boy that's pink sugar I was trying my heart is not to cry I cry so easily like I was oh I cry so easily now cuz I have zero estrogen I'm, I don't know what the hell wrong Baby, I was trying not to cry during the game. Nicole kept saying, because we was like seven minutes late to the game and it was already almost halftime. So I was like, how the fuck this game going so fast? Because it started at eight. And Nicole was like, just let him see you. Go to the thing, let him see you because he show out when I'm there. But my thing is like, my baby was playing his heart out. Them some big ass kids that was playing against. And then like, I think everybody started feeling defeated and was just like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? And my baby, out of the whole season, out of the whole season, 340 points were scored, and my baby scored 306 of them. So I just knew that was going to make him feel like a failure because the team, I don't want to say all that on camera because I don't know who mama and stuff watch me, and I don't want to, like, make anybody feel like they kid ain't, ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? But my baby the shit. I'm going to just say that. And so it, it made me, oh, it's from, oh, everything made me so emotional, y'all. Because I know how I feel. Like, you trying y'all, you trying your all. And so, yeah, I've been an emotional wreck, y'all. Because I was trying my hardest not to cry in front of him. That was the point of me saying all this. I would have made it work. All right, guys. So I came to shoe deal first to see if they had, like, some of them. Give on she short boots, dupes, cause baby. So let me give me a reel while I'm here. So I'ma just give y'all a show, overview and if I see something special, I'll just insert the reel so I don't have to do two things. All right. Yeah, I done got so irritated. It's this dude in here to my baby. You got $20 trying to get some fake Yeezys. Where your fucking money? Otega dupe, Mark Jacobs dupe. Feezy Duke. Balenciaga Duke. All right, my friend met me with my boots, so I had to leave out the store. They are bougie boots. She do have one more pair, so hit me on, let's do this. Hit me on Instagram if you want them. I'll show them to you when I get in the car, though. So let's go back in here because they got some, <laughs> I hope I don't get these people in trouble, but uh, they got some stuff up in here, too. So let's go. I also saw some of my old clients in here, guys. I'm copyright. I'm gonna see if they wanna be on camera. You know, this music copyright. 
so I gotta go, y'all. Look what these duping. They, they not well made, though. And what's this strap doing? They probably got more like it. Hold on. Yeah. I... See, that's why I don't leave out the house. I end up running into so many people in here. Like, five. It is literally an hour later almost. But let me show y'all these boots, honey. Ciao. So, here's the thing. They run small, so you got to go up. So, she had a nine and an eight. <sighs> no, see, I'm finna confuse it. Y'all need to know this in case you want the other pair. So, she has a nine. Yeah, she has a nine and an eight, but they run small. I wear a seven, so I had to get the eight. So, if you want the other pair, the nine run like an eight. So, don't message me if you're not an eight. So, <laughs> here's the box right and here's the shoe there you have it so if you are eight she only has one pair left i tried on both um i took the smaller pair because i figured she would have a better chance selling the bigger pair than the smaller pair so if i could fit the smaller pair i'm gonna take the smaller pair so I didn't get anything out of shoe deal. They had like a lot of Balenciaga dupes. They had a lot of um they had a lot of Balenciaga Jock Moose, um, Bottega, Tefizi. They had a lot of those dupes, but I didn't need I I don't need anything. And they had a lot of cute purple boots too, but I really don't need anything, y'all. Anything I need like that, the boots and stuff, I can get from Shein for free and um the other stuff if the designer don't make it in that color i'm not gonna be looking like no fool carrying it so like for instance that jock moose bag i hope i'm pronouncing that right but i don't like that brand that bag um it it girl i went on the website and the only colors can I go this fucking way? The only colors they had in here was yellow and gold. And they don't come in yellow and gold. Does that make sense? Do y'all get what I'm saying? So, anyway, let's go to UPS in the post office. Those are dropped off. Y'all, the post office is so different now. Like, this time last year when COVID was jumping, I would have never been able to do a drop off on a Sunday. That bin would be full already. So, now, um, I got to take these two to UPS. See so y'all, that's why I only like to deal with the post office. They don't make me pay two dollars and twenty-five cents to reprint the labels. Cause when I printed them on my printer at home, they ain't scanning. Like y'all could have did that for free. And why the freak Boston Market done created some new chicken, Perry Perry rotisserie chicken? Y'all just need to go out of business. I cannot stand Boston Market. I get them chance after chance after chance, and it is just not good. Thumbs up if you don't like Boston Market, because, yeah, no. Yeah, so Suge and Nicole went driving. I stayed home. This cold just, I just be wanting to be in the bed, honey. And y'all know I had a, I have a sell makeup sale. I'm always having some kind of sale, because I always have to declutter. I got so much stuff. Perfume sale. So, on my perfume. So, on my perfume sale, the only two that hadn't sold out is this Tory Burch. It's still available if you want it. Well, when I do this vlog. And this Too Faced. And I'm like, this is a good-ass perfume. It's just I never reach for it. So, I'm just trying to declutter to stuff I just reach for a lot. I got a lot of perfume. Y'all know that. <laughs> Y'all know that. Y'all know that. Two towers full. Okay, so these are the only two that didn't sell. So I was like, all right, let me just discount them a little bit more. And then I looked and was like, no, I paid $100 for this. I cannot go no lower than $60 and I ain't never used this. So I sprayed it. Why this shit smell so fucking good to me? Baby, I don't put that back in the cabinet. See, I almost just gave away my, my good stuff. Not knowing what I had. You understand? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> I'm always trying to give y'all a message or something. But sometimes you see how people always try to get rid of stuff. Because they think the grass is green on the other side. Then they got to be reminded of what they had to appreciate it. Because baby, baby, this smelled too good on me. I don't know why I was about to say it. Good morning. I'm headed out. I have to take some stuff to the post office and I'm going to 
trying. I don't know, depending on how I feel. I hate this freaking weather, y'all. To go um, pick up a few things. I'm having this problem again. I don't know what be causing it. Um, high quality fashion boutique. This is a two piece. This necklace is from Amazon. It's real cute. It's like a heart, almost like a Tiffany necklace. Um, Y'all know where my glasses came from. Linsmart, Tory Burch Millers. Oh, let me show y'all my cute little boots. Uh, uh, get it up there, girl. Uh, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. All right. So, the scent of the day. This is a little warmy. Prada Paradox. I don't know if I like this shit, yeah. So, I'm going to give it a whirl today. And... I don't think I like this. Everybody says it smells like Valentino born in Roma. I do not smell that at all. And if it ain't here for me today, if I don't get not one compliment, it will be in my next sale. Everything sold but my Tory Burch perfume, guys. So, in my hair, I'm going to just do Carolina Herrera. Good girl. The hair is still hairy, y'all. I'll put some cream up in it. Oh, it's so beautiful. So, I'm put some cocoa butter on me. I burnt myself when I was uh doing my real hair last week. Did I show y'all that? Oh, no, I just showed y'all a little clip and said I needed somebody to style it. I didn't show y'all doing it because the vlog was super long and I had to cut a lot out. So, first, let me do my liquid IV. Let me do my liquid IV. So, first... I'm gonna ship this off to the winner. The winner, the giveaway was on Facebook. Thanks for everybody who participated. It had like a little catch to it. Chair. I got other stuff to take to the post office. Y'all know that perfume. <laughs> I said I was gonna give Miss Credit D, but it's still sitting over here, child. I was saving it for when we met, but we ain't seen each other since then. So, and that was like, what's that? My birthday haul? long time ago all right guys you know before i head out and do anything every day i get my day started you guys often see me carrying this big jug around right here i put a stick of liquid iv in here um and i drink this throughout the whole day you guys know i suffer from dehydration chronic dehydration actually um a little bit of back history if you know me i know you're tired of hearing this story but everybody who watched me don't know what happened okay parasites ate up my stomach i ate some in jamaica parasites ate up my stomach that turned me to be a malnutrition my stomach couldn't absorb nutrients none of that kind of stuff so i suffer from chronic dehydration because my stomach is still very vulnerable and rebuilding okay so I was going to get IV therapy shot directly into my arm, but y'all know that can be like up to $200 a week. <laughs> I told my doctor, I was like, look, what do people do who can't afford to do this? Like, I'm blessed to where I can go and spend $100 a week to get something shot in my veins. But what if somebody, and she was like, have you ever heard of liquid IV? And y'all... Y'all remember that vlog? I almost fell to the floor because I'm like, yes, I used that already. She was like, double it up. She said that's the best thing on the market right now. And I was just like, oh my gosh, because I already used that. So, Liquid IV will be sponsoring this portion of the video. Y'all know I be too pumped when they sponsor me and I already love their products. <laughs> I don't even have to sell the products because don't I talk about them every video? Okay, so let me show you because I just got two brand new bags. <laughs> so, I did get um, Tropical Punch and you guys... Drop my favorite in the comments right now. If you know me and you watch me, if you know me and you watch me, you should know that my favorite is lemon lime, okay? This do it all. One stick, literally one stick is equivalent to three bottles of water. It re-energizes you. It's great. It's a great product just to hydrate you. You know what I'm saying? So, let me show you what they just sent me. They sent me passion fruit. This is how it will come. But today I'm excited and want to try. <laughs> I fit the occasion. Concord grape. Okay. <laughs> right here. I've never had this flavor and I'm super excited about it. <laughs> and it's grape. <laughs> Looking real. Yeah. So this is what the stick looked like right here. How convenient. Put it in your purse, your backpack, whatever. 
like you don't have to carry wrap a lot just put you some sticks in there and make sure you have you some water so guess what y'all all right guys so i usually use this cup because in the summertime this cup right here from liquid iv keeps my stuff cold okay just put it in there and your stuff will stay cold all day they sent me another one <laughs> let's see if it's the same cup if it's the same cup guys guess what i'll do I don't need to. I'll just put one in a giveaway and give one of you guys a chance. Oh, it ain't the same. I don't even have to finish that sentence. <laughs> it's a little different. So we're just gonna make it for today so I can go on about my day, okay? So it's very, very easy. All you have to do is put one stick of this in here. Look at this, guys. Okay, so we're just gonna put one stick in there, put the whole stick in there, and one bottle of water. That's all you have to do. That's all you gotta do. It's really that easy. And this is equivalent to drinking three bottles of water. Shake it, 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 shake it. And it's nothing special to it. You just drink it, guys, like regular water. Full of everything you need. So I have a discount code I will leave below. Make sure you check out Liquid IV. Please, this is good. This is good, good. Check out Liquid IV, guys. Y'all know I love them. Link will be below with my discount code. <laughs> so, yeah, I had to take the purple lip off because it got to transferring everywhere, all over my hand. My uh, Liquid IV cup, see? <laughs> got time for that. So, I'm going to put on my coat from Target. I love this coat. And let's go. Yeah, now on the real, I can't do no coke. Menopause really be having your body temperature that hot, bro. Like I'm fine now, but out of nowhere you'll get like sweaty, hot, sticky, like stuff crawling on you type hot. Stuff crawling on you type of hot. So I bring it with me, but like soon as I get in the store, or something that bitch gotta come out. Like I'm gonna run in the post office right now. I ain't putting that coat on. People like, people be like, put your coat on, you're gonna be sick. Baby, let me tell you something. Yeah, I'm gonna be sick if I put that coat on because I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna be so hot. I'm not playing. Oh, let me get the spot. Let me get the spot. Skirt. Got him. Look at Crocodile Dundee right here, y'all. Walking all slow. Y'all see him? <laughs> all right, y'all. Looking at everybody else. It ain't coat cold out here. It's uh, hoodie sweater this cold so i just thought it was me yeah don't talk no shh because i don't even know how i ended back up here i told you i'll just be trying to stay out the house it's just, i'm only going to one store i just want to see what the ccs got today so this is the cup i'm looking for for my friend guys it won't even focus this one and this one i don't see either I see a small version of one. I don't think this is it. Uh -uh. Remember, remember what I told y'all about any kind of mile. Call and see what they buy so you don't have to walk, honey. I'll be right here. All right, guys, let's see what they got, but they're playing music, so of course I'm going to do a, a B-roll. So guys, I end up only spending ten dollars because they got these little scratch offs, and I got one final item free, and I got three all together. Let's go look at the dogs. <laughs> I'm out of focus. Let's just go. That's what I want, but Nicole won't let me get a dog. All right, y'all. So I had to give me one of them chicken salads from Chick-fil-A. Sorry about the view. And y'all, it's a woman out here. It is 50 degrees. It's a woman sitting out here with her child, right? Bundled up, begging for money. She got flowers that she's giving out. I guess like if you give them to her, but I didn't want them. And
y'all know I'm not the YouTuber that records myself giving people money and stuff. I hate it. I ain't gonna even lie. I hate it. That's sure. That's if you do it. I just don't do it. So the point of me saying all that is, it just so happened that out of all days I got cash, and I never have cash. But like, I went to get a smoothie from McDonald's yesterday and some more stuff and they didn't have smoothies or whatever and end up having to give me my money back and so i paid for a card and they just end up giving me cash back so i had cash on me today and i was just like what are the chances because i never have cash but my my point is y'all it's hard out here right now like me i got it and stuff is going up daily so i can't imagine like parents who are already oh my gosh i'm dropping everything y'all parents who are already struggling or something like that so if you can help somebody help them y'all because everything going up girl i went to the store the other day baby let me tell y'all something i went to the store the other day i ain't been to the store in a minute y'all know i amazon some groceries in a minute and i'm like the links that i used to get all the time when i ate links and stuff like that they were like 2.99 a pack them things five dollars now i don't drop my dressing y'all and then like um it's something that little hormel beef in a pack i love that i used to love that they used to be like 5.99 it's nine dollars and 79 cents now like dude what the heck is going on so yeah that's my little two minute rent so yeah i said i want to start going to like some kind of classes like to just be a better person in general because sometimes we can know how to be a better person but don't know how like i'm 42 and it's kind of like i'm stuck in my ways and a lot of stuff don't be but i'm willing to change like i just want to be girl let me beg back i'm still in the street i just want to be a softer nicer likable type person you know what i'm saying everybody get on this mug and scream they blessed they blessed they blessed because they got money they going on trips they getting new cars they getting new handbags but do that is that really what makes you a blessed person like are you a good person? Like, do you have these handbags in this house and stuff and help other people? Do you have these handbags and all this kind of stuff and don't feel empty inside? Do you know how many celebrities commit suicide? They be rich as heck, but they empty inside. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you know, like, especially here lately, so many celebrities have took themselves out. Clearly, it's not money because they be having it. They're empty inside. They're depressed inside. They're mean inside. They're lonely inside. They got all of this materialistic stuff in. You're empty. Like, I don't want to feel empty. But what kind of class is that? <laughs> it's a chicken salad. Baby, not rock or <laughs> But who would know? It's a comforter. I don't know Burlington line gonna be lining. And look where I'm stuck at. <laughs> All right, child. So I end up getting this comforter. It was high too. I mean, it was a great price. It was eighty bucks. But like the rest of them comforters, like forty nine. This one was like sixty nine. But I ain't complaining because y'all remember when I went to New York that one time when my brother first opened on Broadway, and he had just moved, y'all. Had to go and finish that off. He had just moved, and we went to uh. Where do we go? Macy's and he bought a twelve hundred dollar comforter, bro. Yeah, twelve hundred dollars. And now I'm at the pawn shop. I told y'all to be checking these pawn shops for luxury stuff. I come every week. <laughs> you don't want it? I take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Replica. You think y'all take replicas? All right, guys. We scored the hot pink tail feezy for a hundred even. <laughs> They wanted um, one twenty nine, but he go give it to me for a hundred even. All right, guys, here we go. Find it back on the camera first. Burlington. This has got a look. I don't know if I showed y'all. I don't think I did. It's just black. And actually, I don't even know why I got this. I, if I tell y'all, it was seven. I think I told y'all that it was black. And I'm trying to find a picture of what it looked like. I'm saying I don't know why I got this because it's just a black comforter. Black? Everything picks up on black. I mean, every... Uh, oh, sorry, I just ate one of my suckers. Y'all know my suckers. 
and <laughs> I can't tell y'all why this wasn't a good idea. I would have to start only OnlyFans, okay? When you when you bless down there, <laughs> it shows. When white is on black, okay, let's move on. So <laughs> here's the CCS. Um, I think I got a chance to show y'all this just in case I didn't. Let me show you what I got. So I already have some open. So I got um even better concealer. So highlighter concealer. Five dollars from Clinique, okay. I don't know the original price, but it ain't nowhere near five dollars, okay. Um, the Bobbi Brown foundation stick, I showed you guys this before. I end up giving the one I had to Shook, and so I just replaced it. Like, this is way too dark for me, it's more like Shook color, but it'll be a good oh, I was gonna say it'll be a good contour color, but child, we might be on the sun. I ain't got nowhere to put it, honey. We might be on the some. Let's just see. Let's just see what we can come up with over here. Pencil out that hyperpigmentation in my freckles. But yeah, it's still too dark and too orange for me. But y'all, if y'all don't know, I was a motherfucking makeup artist for years. And I know how to make this work. Watch I make it work. Okay, and then I got the Clinique. We're just gonna test this too on the other cheek. This is the shade, honey. I think this is golden. This was the only shade they had available. And if I'm not mistaken, I gotta find an old video. If I'm not mistaken, this is the shade I wore. Why did I do that, y'all? Yeah, Oh, it look a little light. <laughs> what is the shade I wear? I got them. Okay, hold on. Let's see what we working with. Well, it's like a little good light covered for like every day. Oh, that blend right in, didn't it? Now, that's, that's the one I got for free. Because my little scratch out ticket said one free $5 item. Golly, they make me okay. Yeah, so we can bronze with the stick in this foundation. Okay, I'm fooling with you. I'm fooling with you, my little free item. Okay, so let me just slide these right here and let's just scratch my ticket out. I kind of cheated because I had one scratch in the store and it was $15 off of um, $15 off $25 off a of hundred. Another one. Thank you. Free five dollar favorites of your choice. Let me go ahead and get another bottle of that foundation. No, no, no. Don't on now. Okay, so plus shop, y'all. Let me tell y'all how I scored. I just need to verify that this tell tell easy is real. Cause it's so many fakes. You guys see when I went to shoot deal, they had some fakes up in there, but you could tell. You could tell those was fake. They was like hard and structured, and we all know tell feces ain't hard and structured. So um y'all, I scored the the uh, medium in Azalea 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 Azalea. What? <laughs> Azalea? Okay. Look at this fashion file and stuff. Got it going for $595 because you can't even get this color on the website anymore. Whenever you want to focus phone on my phone camera, just do that. $595. Bro, they had it in there for $129. But y'all know Big Plat. Oops. Big Plat got the gift of Gab. It was like, can I get it for 100 e? And I'm always in there, right? So they did. Let me go get my purple one. All right, so I only have one other one. And that's this purple one right here. Ooh. Ooh. I ain't gonna lie, this do feel a little, a little bit more lightweight than this purple one. Trying to see some, y'all. 
Oh, duh, I got the purple one stuffed. Come on now, Nikki, with your football head. Be back, let me do my... Because I will be back up in the push shop tomorrow, like, give me my money back. This ain't it. Yeah, uh, no. I'm not convinced this one is real now. I don't know why I didn't check all this before I got it. So, uh, look at this duffel bag compared to the real one. Like the quality even different. All right, so she's going back. I called and they was like, no refunds. And I was like, this purse is not authentic. And they was like, okay, bring it on back. By the way, it's the next morning. So I'm going to take my real one so they can compare and see the difference and go to the post office. I got the last fragrance finally. So, so yeah. Yeah, I'm too ashy. Girl, I got way too much body cream lotion and stuff to be this damn ashy. All right, y'all, we hit it out. So, I got on a high quality fashion boutique set. The teal one. This is the long sleeve one. 15% off. I'll leave it below. I do have on, um, just go ahead and file because you want to anyway. I do have on my black Ugg boots that need an alignment. <laughs> these are the comfortable ones. I still got to break these in. These just, my foot slides straight into them. And these I have on are all black. And these are like, y'all yeah, see I can make them all black, but it's two different boots. And these, like, aren't. So, I'm going to put on Twilly. I love this. When I first smelled this, I was like, no, ma'am. That ginger or something was very overpowering. But when it dry down, oh, it's so good and powdery to me. Clearly. I'll be using it, child. Did put the new comfort on the bed. It's cute or whatever. So, um... Hair mist. I did put this on here. Right? <sighs> Let's get some of my nerves doing this. I don't. Well, Y'all can still see me. I did put this on here. This one on. This one is the one I said that very much has Baccarat's DNA. But when it dry down, it don't. It smells like baby bread to me when it dry down. It's the weirdest shit ever. So I would not be repurchasing this again. And I don't know if you guys know that the Sohaneras. They double as a hair mist, too. No, 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 no. I don't like this. This all day over that one. The original. Like, it smells freaking fantastic off the jump. And if you didn't know, this is a dupe for this. Anyway, I'll be just going. I'll link it all below. That pink one, it's cute or whatever at, the, at first. But then when it dry down, no, it smells like... Baby bread. I, I'm just repeating myself at this point. So this is my last day of this hair. I'm about to do a hair review when I get back home. I gotta get to work. So let's just go in with um. I always grab that. Jadula hair mist. And if you, I'm gonna do a video on how to smell good and have a siage when you walk by. People say you smell good. Cause I often see those videos, but people talk from a um cream a body cream a body or layering and they never talk about the hair the hair is the first thing you smell when you hug people most of the time um prime example i was at beauty con gym beauty or something one time in san francisco and they grouped the creators and it was one creator hair smelled so bad y'all it smelled like sour milk and it was like almost making me up chuck but y'all know i can't <laughs> it was that bad and i was like how do she not smell that it was that bad, guys. Hope that video ain't up because y'all will go back and try to see who it was. But I always be with a crowd of people at them events, so you'll never know. But it was that bad. Now, in that case, she just needs to wash her shit. But, yeah, y'all get what I'm saying. So, let's head out. All right, y'all, we in route. I just want everybody to know. I want it to be perfectly clear. I have, of course, I have zero, nothing against replicas. Clearly, I just want some rep Dior boots. But I, you can't finesse me. If it's fake, say it's fake. If it's real, say it's real. If I want it, I'ma get it. If it's from Louis Vuitton and I like it, I'ma buy it. If it's from my home girl and I like it, I'ma buy it. I just can't be finessed. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't. I don't think they purposely did it at all. But that's the scary part about buying and selling pre-love luxury. You literally have to know your shit because these reps are getting good. They're getting good. This is not a good one because I was able to determine like off top, but 
from the feel and the logo and the, the dust bag and stuff. But the point I'm trying to make is because I know people will go there and come and be like, you were replicas. That's cool. If I would have bought it knowing it was a replica, yeah, but I bought it under the impression that it was authentic and it's not, so it's going back. Yeah, so my check just cleared from my truck. Yeah, I didn't know. I saw the green truck, the green Jeep. And I just instantly want to go shopping. I have to refrain from that. Like, is that an addiction? Clearly it is. I literally have to refrain from that because it's taking everything in me not to go shopping. Like, why do I feel like I always got to be buying something? I don't care if it's from the Dollar Tree. I just feel like I want to be buying something. And that shit ain't fucking healthy. What what you looking at? That's why I love this pawn shop. They felt bad. They just gave me cash back. They felt bad. We was like, we sorry, we didn't know. And I was like, yeah. And then they was like, um, can we see yours so we'll know in the future? But it still will be kind of hard because sometimes you have to have the bag side by side to see the difference. Um, but yeah, they gave it back with no problems. And it's still my favorite spot. Still my favorite spot. Because I be getting some deals up out of here for like everything. Cameras, jewelry, everything. So anyway out to the post office and i'm gonna deposit this because if i keep it on me i frivolously spend it okay wishing you a happy belated birthday <laughs> who gonna run out of gas trying to get some yogurt <laughs> what i always say if y'all see me walking don't ask no questions just pick me up just pick me up honey this the best thing going for a dollar if y'all don't have a brooms i don't know what to tell y'all one dollar you can get it in a cone or a cup and it's yogurt, not ice cream. All right, y'all, we back in business, full tank. All right, all right. <laughs> so now I'm going in here to pay your niece, you guys' niece senior fees, honey. And she will want the highest package. She want the $450 package. I say you better go to all this stuff, too. I ain't playing. Oh, to be a full-time mother. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it. Like, oh, how do you not want to see your kids, like, have stuff and be stuff? I don't understand that. Oh, like for real, I don't be caring about nothing. But I don't be caring about nothing materialistic and stuff like that. But if she want it, she can get it out of me. And she know it. My baby has transitioned a whole lot. As you guys can see, she don't run track anymore. She hates school now. Like, but you know, my daughter is grieving too. So I just let her grieve her own little way. I don't pressure her to do nothing. Um, She's saying that she's uh reconsidering college she might just want to go to cosmetology school and i'm gonna let her do what she want to do because if you guys don't know i got two degrees and i use it now one of them but had to pay all that student loan money back i did so we're just gonna I just, as long as she's successful and she's productive so let's go pay these senior fees i'm so excited well my at work she's gonna be the bum for thanksgiving <laughs> <laughs> Saying 2022. 22. Three. Damn. Yeah. I don't know. My baby graduated. My bad player. I had to come back. We had a technical difficulties over here. They're trying to treat us like we don't have it. We paid in full, home girl. Thank you, baby. I'm at every event, like. Her friends would be happy, she wouldn't be. They love when I'm in the building. <laughs> What's going on there? All right, yeah, I was doing the TikTok. I don't think the light is gonna be good, but regardless, I'm gonna use it. Because I got a new Kurt Geiger. Now y'all know how I am about my Kurt Geigers. This is it right here. It has a little pouch up here like a Prada bag. This beautiful purple color. I'll link it below. Let me show y'all how it go. Don't laugh at me y'all, but it's one of these type of bags. Like that has the pouch right here. Or you can take this whole strap off and just carry it like this. On the night out. Okay, we'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah. Real quick, guys, we got a box from Good Molecules. I will link whatever this is below. It's a sunscreen for every skin tone. Woo, let's see what this is about. So, 
this is the Sheer Mineral Sunscreen 30 SPF. So I will leave the link to it below. Everybody don't matter. It don't matter. Light skin, dark skin, white, black. Everybody need to have sunscreen on. All right. All right. So guys, I cleaned my vanity out yesterday. So basically, this is all of my foundation, my sprays, like facial sprays and stuff. And I put all of my hair mist back here. And then this is something I need to show. Y'all already seen it. This <clears throat> honey girl needs to clean them brushes, okay? So I cleaned it out as much as I could. Like this is my contacts and stuff like that. This is our hair stuff. This down here, I put like all of my body creams and stuff in here. And that's like hair ties. Not hair ties, but like when I'm doing my makeup. I got earrings in here. I want all of this to be earrings. These are lashes and some miscellaneous highlighters and stuff. Up here. Girl! Hold on. My bad. My wife washes my clothes for me. Y'all see how she threw my, my things in here? This is just like lip products I grab for a lot of some more stuff and some dirty sponges. And down here I have lip products. It might not look like I cleaned it up. Boy, y'all should have seen it before. And this vanity is a Hollywood swank vanity. This vanity, y'all, with the bench was like five grand. I do not recommend. <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful. It's, it's so heavy. But it's a lot of little kinks. And when stuff mess up, you can't find anybody to repair it. So, yeah. All right, y'all. So, y'all know where I'm at. Y'all know what's going on. Gotta give them a smoothie. Today was free. Big Mac day. So I got it for sure because I don't eat. That's not me. I got my food. She's trying to give me somebody else's food. Um, I got my, I should have took it. No, I'm just playing. I'm not a thief. So it got beef on it for one and I don't eat McDonald's hamburgers. I went by, let me move out the way because she think I'm waiting on my order. I went by the beauty supply house so she could do my hair and she usually used this one. But we was like, which one worked the best? So, I just got all of them. The even sprays. So, we gonna see which ones work the best. And I'm gonna go home and get my hair done. Just got my hair did. This is a lot of hair, y'all. Stick ain't the sugar. Ooh, very thick. Why you put under that in there? Damn, damn. This beautician hurt. Huh? Oh. Girl, you don't got sleep. I ain't ate nothing. What I could eat real quick? You gotta be light. Oh, I had some popcorn chicken from Sunny. Pause dabbing over there. <laughs> that is chunk chuck. I had some uh chicken, popcorn chicken yesterday from Sunny. That shit was good as heck. Like it was so fresh, but you know I didn't go to this one, right? Which one? Which one I didn't go to? The the one that buys. <laughs> it's horrible, y'all. They don't ever change that grease. They be taking too long. <laughs> My petition rough. Gotta roll, I don't know about that up before your time, girl. Gotta work, Nick. Gotta get a work, Nick. The Hispanics done already started Thanksgiving and haven't they? Is that my titties looking bad? Because I got on a horrible bra. You'll fix it. I'm trying to turn, honey. Turn when you'll pitch the mirror first. I'm gonna put me a little makeup on to get some pictures. My eyes have been bothering me lately, so I ain't been able to wear my contacts like I need to. That bothers me. This eye, not my eyes. Let me get me a snack. This smoothie, I ain't getting it. I need a cracker or something. We gonna put the new Clinique on, y'all. Oh, I'm close. So let me show you guys. Why is it so freaking close to me? I'm listening to Rochelle. I mean, I'm watching Rochelle. I'm gonna just throw on a quick face. That melt sound pretty good. God damn, why is all up on me? Back, 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 back. Let's go ahead and try the concealer that I just got too. Five dollar face. I 
gotta get that stuff edited. Five dollar products. Right, so I am in traffic. I'm getting ready. This is like my packages. quick beat Girl, just to only, let me see what time do what I gotta do for time. YouTube. Okay. Shit. I, I will say I will link you these products, but just get to your local CCS. Yeah, yeah. They do ship. So call them. I'm gonna take the Bobby Brown stick and go inside of my nose like that. Why do I feel like I'm so close to this dang camera? I can't see though. I don't no contacts in. We are trying the five dollar Too Faced lipstick. Told y'all. See how that red gonna pop on the camera? All right, yeah, makeup's done. That quick. Well, it wasn't quick to y'all, but as I see here and listen to Rochelle, I don't think y'all understand how hard. Or how heavy that Shanquilla stuff and Miss go away on my heart. But there's a couple of things I do want to say about it. And I'm going to make it real quick. Because y'all know I can get a little long-winded. Y'all use the word friend too loosely. Quit throwing that around. Everybody, my friends, watch your friends, watch your friends. My friends will never do me like that, bro. So they ain't your friends. Ever. Okay? Start saying associates or people I hang with or people I party with or... People I know, it's a couple of things that don't sit right with me with this situation. First of all, my friends would never do me like that. Second of all, as friends, we don't sit up there and watch friends fight like that. Ever. Ever. If any of my friends get into something going on like that, we is not finna... We is. We are not about to let them sit up there and throw blows and body slam each other like that. No, this, first of all, I'm too old for that. I know they're younger than me, but even when we was younger, we'd be like, hey, hey, break it up or something. So that should tell you right there. All right? So I just want to say, quit throwing that friend stuff around so loosely. Clearly, those weren't her friends, and clearly, everybody who you hang with is not your friend. So stop saying friend, friend. Oh, watch your friends. Watch your circle. No, you watch your friends in your circle. Because my true friends will never do me like that. Or never sit there and watch somebody body slam and throw me all across the room like that. We breaking it up or we telling them to stop. It just ain't going to never happen. Like, I don't know who y'all hanging with. It's irritating. My friends, not, them ain't your friends if you feel like they're going to sit up there and do you like that. And then, like, if you have any kind of discernment about somebody, just let them go. Like, I, I know a person I love. I know a person I fuck with so heavy, but, like, they snapped on me one too many times out of nowhere for nothing. And I had to tell them, stop handling me like that. Stop handling me like that. And they wouldn't. You got an internal problem. So, I'm going to just exit the, the situation. Because I feel uncomfortable. You have to use your brain sometime with it too. And I'm going to stop right there because I could keep going on and on about this situation. This is a sweater dress from Shein, but it clearly it's too big, right? It's, am I supposed to wear it like this or like this? We're going to end this Thanksgiving tomorrow. Can we start a new vlog? Let's go. <laughs>